here one expression is given a plus a plus in bracket a plus a plus a plus in bracket a plus a plus a plus a here we shall have to evaluate the bracket first and there is one more bracket which is in our bracket so we have to evaluate in our bracket okay so we have to evaluate we shall take this t1 t1 is equal to a plus a now this has to be added with a so t2 will be equal to t1 plus a now this is t2 now we have to add t3 is equal to t2 plus a so we have got this result sum of 3 a's sorry 4 a's okay so now in another bracket outer bracket 3 a's have been added here so its a result will be stored in t4 in which we can understand it that 3 a's have already been added in this bracket so this 3 a's 2 a's plus 1 a is with t2 so t2 plus this can be added directly so I will use it t2 plus t3 ok now I have to add this has been evaluated which is the result is of the result of this is with t4 a plus a plus t4 and this was with bracket so a plus a has to be evaluated and a plus a is with t1 so I will add it I will take this result in t5 which will be t1 plus t4 ok so we shall see how to construct directed assembly graph for this expression so t1 is a plus a plus a is here I am taking one is from here this is t1 ok now t2 we are adding t1 with a which is t2 ok now t3 I am adding one more a with this t2 so t2 is here and one more a is here the result is t2 plus a t3 now t4 t4 is the result of t2 plus t3 t2 is here and t3 is here so I am taking the result of this t3 and this t2 the result is t2 plus t3 is with t4 now t5 t1 plus t4 t4 is here t1 is here so the result is with t5 ok so this is the directed acyclic graph for this expression here a plus a plus a plus a 4 a's have been evaluated by this t3 is containing the result of uh, 4 a's sum of 4 a's and t4 t4 is containing the result of 2 sum of this uh, 3 a's and these 4 a's ok now this t5 t5 is containing the result of this bracket and these two ways okay so this is the three address okay. this is the expression in which this expression will be related first so I am taking it in t1 t1 is will contain a plus b so this is t1 I will have to add c here so t2 will be equal to t1 plus c ok now this result is stored in g2 now I a plus b plus t2 and I have evaluated a plus b in bracket so 
we used this result so in t3 t1 is with the result of a plus b is with t1 so t1 plus t2 okay so we shall see how to construct a directed cyclic graph t1 is a plus b result is with t1 now i have to add c here plus c so okay now a plus b plus this result is with uh, t2 so a plus b plus this t2 so whatever what is what is next step is here t1 plus t2 t1 is here t2 is here so t2 i have taken this result directly and t is one from here its result is t3 okay so this is directed a cyclic graph for a plus b plus in bracket a plus b plus c we can see the same result will be for this expression also we shall see what will happen for this expression this is the bracket which will be evaluated first t1 is equal to a plus b here okay here this is t1 here i have to evaluate a plus b plus c and a plus b has already been evaluated so i will add c with this t1 so t2 will contain t1 plus c okay now what is happening here uh, t3 is equal to t1 plus t2 okay so we shall see here a plus b a plus b is here and a plus b plus c is here a plus b is here which is with this result okay now this t3 is t1 plus t2 this a plus b is result was stored in t1 and this a plus t1 plus c was stored in t2 now t1 plus t2 t1 is here t2 is here so it is stored in t3 okay so this is the directed cyclic graph for this uh, expression one expression is here a plus b into a plus b plus c here a plus b will be evaluated first so t1 will be equal to a plus b so this is t1 and we can use the result of this bracket which has already been evaluated so this will be t1 so t2 will be containing t1 plus c and now we have to evaluate the product of this t1 and t2 t1 into t2 so it's a directed a cyclic graph will be a plus b will be here now c will be added here okay now t1 and t2 this is the result is in t1 here result is in t2 now t1 and t2 are multiplied so t1 is multiplied with t2 so this is the directed a cyclic graph for this expression here one this is the expression in which i have removed the brackets so what will happen here this bracket will be evaluated first so a plus b will be evaluated first t1 will be equal to a plus b this is evaluated first now i have to add c with this t1 so t2 will be a d will be t1 plus c now a plus b star t2 what will be evaluated first b star t2 so t3 will be equal to b star t2 
Now I have to add this A with P3. Okay, so it's a directed acyclic R will be P plus B result is in T1 and I am adding C here result is in T2. Now T3 is assigned by B into T2. T2 is here, multiplication sign is here, B is multiplied here. Okay, so I am taking this sign here. I am taking in this side or this side, it doesn't affect the result. B into T1, T2, so there is no problem. I am getting the result. Okay, T3. Now I am adding A with this T3. So this is T3 and now I am adding A here. So this is T4. So this is the uh, directed acyclic graph for A plus B star A plus B plus C.